video on my channel sorry I haven't put one up for a while I'm actually off work six so that's why they are few and far between at the moment so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this fairly simple Mickey Mouse inspired Disney design all with gel polish so it's quite simple to do so we're starting off with two coats of a nude color on this occasion I have used classic by halo from pure nails So once you've got your two cured layers of nude down, you need a fine detailing brush and some black. Again, I'm using the Halo one from Pure Nails. And we're just going to start off by doing the outline of the face. And we'll be flash curing in between all of these steps. So you want to make sort of like the bottom of a heart shape at the top on sort of a diagonal for the top of Mickey's head. And then on the bottom, you want to make a line for where the mouth goes. So I'm really sorry but I actually missed hitting record for the nose and the line the the bottom of the eyes there but you can see the shapes that I've made an oval shape um, for the nose and then just a line across the top for the bottom of the eyes and then I'm just doing the eyes now so you'll see in a minute that I actually made a mistake when doing this left-sided eye I made it too small so I needed to go back and make it bigger so it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but we'll be able to sort that out later when we fill it in with the white so if you do make any little mistakes you don't need to panic or worry you could go back in and clean up but I just find it easier just to correct them later with my different color polish so I'm doing the outline for the tongue as well now and as I said we are flash curing for 10 seconds in between each of these steps just so we don't nudge or move anything next step I'll be coming in with the black to fill in all of the black areas gel polish and this is where you'll see that I correct the mistake I made before. Halo gel polish is really pigmented and you don't need to work thick with it to cover up mistakes so it, I just find it easier to do it this way. So I'm filling in the whites of the eyes there and overlapping the black where I want to thin out the edges of those eyes and make sure that everything's neat. Again we will be coming back in with the black later to neaten up anything we need to so again you don't need to be panicking about making this absolutely perfect. You obviously want to do your best to keep it as good as you can so you don't have loads to clean up because otherwise it will end up bumpy if you use lots and lots of polish but you don't need to like absolutely panic about getting it perfect on the first go. happy with the new shape that I've created and make cleared up the mess that I made before I flash cure that again another 10 seconds and then I'm coming in with the apple red from halo gel polish and filling in that tongue area before coming back in with my black to finish off those eyes so again I'll be correcting the mistake on the left eye using this black gel polish and you'll see how I do that in a minute but generally when I do a face I usually have the eyes going off to the left or the right I just think it looks more realistic than having them look straight forward or having them looking up um, it was actually my brother that helped me out with this he's really really good at drawing and he told me it's always easier to have them looking up to the left or right it always looks more realistic and easier to achieve said just neaten up any edges going over any areas that I need to with that black gel polish and then again I'll be flash curing that before moving on to the last step just put a little accent onto Mickey's nose just to give it a bit more of a realistic look and then just finally come back in once more with my black gel polish make sure that everything is nice and neat and tidy as I want it to be and once I've done that I'll pop it in for a full cure of 60 seconds in my LED lamp so once you've completed 
completed your design and you're happy with it and it's all been fully cured, you can go in with your non-white glossy top coat or of course you could use a matte top coat or buff it to a matte finish after your top coat if you preferred. I just decided to do a glossy finish today but matte looks great as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and helpful. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, I hope that you liked it, if you did please like and subscribe, as I said I am off sick but I'll get up some more videos as and when I can, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in the next one.